Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Um, you may be aware that Anthony Joshua um, confronted some, I think they were students of some sort, and uh, they were heckling him and throwing a few insults at him. Um, and he actually went into the building where they were, went upstairs and confronted them. And uh, there's a video of this. If you haven't seen it, take a look. Uh, it's, you know, it's, on, uh, it's on YouTube where everything else is. And this has created a little bit of a debate. You know, was uh, Joshua right to sort of confront them or should he have just said, ah, a bunch of pricks, you know, little, silly little sods, you know, leave them alone. I actually think it's good that AJ did what he did because he didn't, uh, he made a sort of veiled threat. Uh, well, he he made the statement that if if he if his team, uh, people that he knows, were to slap him around a bit, <coughs> it wouldn't end well for them. And I didn't don't think that was really a threat. I think he was just pointing out that there is the fantasy world of the internet and social media, and there is the real world. And in the real world, they would be dog food. And I think in this day and age, uh, that needs not just stating, but repeating indefinitely. Because there's no doubt that so many people face almost immeasurable abuse from people who, who are nothing, who will amount to nothing, who have some sort of psychological quirk or damage or some sort of toxic mindset where they they feel the need to randomly insult people that they don't even know. And where was it in the contract when people became famous that they had to take untold abuse from uh, people who will never amount to a single percent of what they've achieved. Um, look, I predate the internet. I'm an old, old middle-aged guy, so I'm an older middle-aged guy. So I predate the internet. And generally speaking, um, you didn't go around insulting people. There have always been bullies. Don't get me wrong. There have always been big guys picking on little guys. But the little guys didn't have that. They didn't have the ability to throw random insults at bigger, bigger guys without there being some sort of kickback. Um, and not necessarily the smaller guys and, and, and the bigger guys. You know, sometimes it was it was two guys who would be roughly the same, uh, you know, size, the same power, the same whatever, same age. And if one person insulted the other, you had to be prepared to go the whole hog and fight them. That didn't always happen, of course. Sometimes it would just be they just throw a load of insults at each other and then walk walk their separate ways, cursing. You know, which was silly and stupid and probably belongs in the playground but that's the way it was but frequently i think more often than not if you confronted someone and you wanted to just randomly insult them in a pub or a club or on the street or whatever you you there was a fair chance you were going to get into it with them now suddenly the ones that are gutless the little you know little guys who are uh, they got small man syndrome napoleon complex whatever you want to call it the ones who are, amount to nothing, the, you know, the, the grotty little, shitty little people who who hate everyone because they can't have their own way and everything's everyone else's fault. And, you know, it, they're sort of projecting their own insecurities onto other people. Suddenly, with the advent of the Internet, they, they, they acquired a voice. They acquired an ability to just throw random insults at people who didn't deserve the, the abuse. Usually it's, you know, it's jealousy or it's it's uh, what they call it. Clout chasing. Is that the phrase I'm looking for now that the younger people use? You know, it's trying to sort of dick ride someone else's um, uh, someone else's prowess, which they themselves don't have. Someone else's name, someone else's uh, ability, you know. Misery loves company. So I, I'm never going to amount to anything. So I'm going to I'm going to make sure that you who are amounting to something are as miserable as me. All right. I'm going to drag you down to my level. It's that sort of mentality. And this never existed, you know, before the advent of the Internet and social media. Twitter. I'm not on Twitter. I got kicked off it. Right. This is years ago. I got kicked off it. Um, and I never went back because to me it was. It was just a dumb, stupid digital version of a graffiti toilet wall. It was just junk. It was garbage. Um, and, uh, you know, 100 and what was it? Is it 149 characters? I saw you were allowed on Twitter. I mean, I haven't been there for years, but 
no wonder someone like Donald Trump loved it because, you know, if you've got nothing to say and you just want to throw random insults or make statements or use buzz phrases or buzzwords, it's ideal. If you want to have any kind of intellectual discussion or if you want to have a mature conversation or, dare I say, a debate. And if there's one thing that's died in the modern age, in the Internet age, it's debate where you actually do intellectually and um with informed, you know, obje objectivity, you actually talk to other people about things and keep an open mind about what they're saying. All of that stuff. The art of debate is, is if it's not dead, then it's on life support. Um, but Twitter is the polar opposite of that. Twitter is for the imbeciles and the morons and, the, and these silly little rat-like people who, you know, infest the internet, infest the world, actually infest life but certainly infest the internet. Go on any sort of, you know, YouTube documentary about, for example, let's say the Holocaust, for example, and read the comments. Read how dumb and cretinous and idiotic and ill-informed and ignorant and toxic some of these people are, these little, these little lice, you know. Um, so no, getting back to the, the AJ thing, I think it was good that he actually confronted these little shits and... I, you know, I would put my eternal soul on the fact that once they saw AJ frighten them out, they fucking shat themselves because there is no doubt at all that anyone who sits behind their keyboard in mum's basement, tapping away, you know, waiting for her to cook, cook their tea, you know, you put them in a darkened alley with someone, they'll shit themselves. They are, you know, the... <laughs> you know the little uh weasels that you know in in prison they'll they're, they're the ones that you, you know you bung a couple of quid to wash your dirty underpants you know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> they're just not very yeah they're, they're not significant they have and they know it they have not they know that they have no significance in life so they have to uh you know bring other people down hide behind a keyboard throw in insults um they're just vermin really and I think that in this day and age where they have such a loud voice and where they have, you know, taken over, and, you know, maybe not taken over, but certainly um, maybe not ruined, but certainly um, marred the experience of being on the Internet and talking to other people. And they've marred that experience with their sheer stupidity and, uh, and irrelevance. But they've made themselves relevant by being toxic uh, and I think that I think it's about time people like Joshua kicked back and fronted them out and showed them to the world for what they are do you remember that one what was it now was it uh, which boxer was it uh, who uh, who had an internet troll and he actually found out where he lived and went around and saw him I can't remember the guy's name former footballer wasn't he what the fuck was his name See, this is what happens when you get to middle age, you forget people's names. Um, but he went right, he found the guy, and then he, they were on national telly. He, the, him and the troll were on telly, and he was apolog the troll was apologising to him. Uh, I wish I could remember. I'll, as soon as I finish this video, I'll remember the guy's name. I've forgotten it now. Fuck. Anyway. Anyway, that's what they are. When you pull them out of their little digital world into the real world, they shrink. You know, so a world on AJ is my attitude. I think we've, it's about time we, we sort of started to uh, insist that, uh, you know, respectability and decency retakes the centre stage and we kick all this, all these mouthy little shits off the stage into the pit where they belong. So nice one, AJ. We need more of it. Um, yeah. Anyway. That's just my thought on that. What do you think? Leave your comments below and uh, we'll chat again soon. Be good. Take care. Much love as always.